Hi, Rick Robinson from ManufacturedHomes.com. I'm about to share with you a story that is absolutely phenomenal. Students at Perry Central High School in Indiana are building a modular home to give to a deserving family through Habitat for Humanity. I can't wait for you to see what these students are doing. Perry Central is nestled in the Hoosier National Forest. Over 60% of Perry County is Hoosier National Forest and, and we are sitting right in the middle of, of that. So we have beautiful hills, a lot of country, just very, very rural, but very pretty. We are centrally located in southern Indiana, all the way down on the Ohio River. Uh, we're an hour, we always say we're an hour from anywhere you want to be. An hour from Evansville, Louisville, Owensboro, Jasper. One unique thing about Perry Central is that we are preschool through seniors all in one roof. And so we have around 1,250 students um, that we serve. In our high school, we are around 350 students every year. We're really excited about our new uh, construction program at Perry Central. And because of our rural location, it's very difficult for us to allow students to go out and build a home um, because they don't have time to travel and get back for their other classes. So Mr. Craney had the idea of really having a state-of-the-art program um, where we build the homes inside of our shop. And uh, so that's what we're doing this year. Our students take three classes in construction and they'll earn nine to 12 dual credits along with industry certifications. And our goal is for students to be ready for the world of work. And this is one way that we can do that. My name is Josh Craney. I teach vocational here at Perry Central High School. Uh, I went to Perry Central High School uh, my whole school career. Uh, and my senior year, I got it take building trades in a neighboring school down the road. So I would go there for three periods a day and we got to build a house that year. So we were on the job site and then I'd come back to Prairie Central and take my English, math, the rest of the classes. Um, I graduated, I went into the construction trades, I worked there for a little over 10 years um, and I always kept in touch with the teacher, the vocational teacher from the neighboring school and kind of joked with him I wanted to take his job one day and out of the blue, he called me and asked me to apply for his position because he was going to retire. Um, so I did and I ended up getting the position at the school. Um, we, and I taught that same class that I loved in high school, uh, taught it for seven years where the kids actually got to build a house from the ground up. We did the excavating all the way up to the finishing touches on the house. Then after the seven years there, I got the opportunity to come back to Perry Central to help add on to the vocational programs I already had here. Um, and it made sense to me because I actually have five kids of my own that go to Perry Central now. My first year for construction, we were doing small projects like yard barns, um, just chicken coops for people. And after that first year, I realized the kids weren't getting as much out of it and they didn't buy in as much as when we were building houses before. So I approached our superintendent and our principal about being able to add on to this existing shop to make it large enough to build houses in. It seemed a lot easier logistically for us to build the house and ship it one time to the job site versus having to ship 20 to 30 kids 182 days a year to, to the job site. Luckily, they both saw the value in that and they bought into it and they were very supportive. And here, six years later, we've got our new building and we're starting our first house. So even though we've got everything laid out wall-wise, what we're going to do now is go through and lay out our doorway. You're going to lay this chalk line on top, and I want you to wrap it two times around your two fingers, and then you're going to use your thumb to control where the chalk line is going to be at. Just need to put the door here and make arrows. 
this is our third day of school and we're getting ready to build this house really excited to do this probably start building and framing by hopefully this week so we are right now we are marking out the doors and the walls and we did the closet wall earlier and we were marking our doors out now so hopefully next week between the next two or three weeks we should be able to start working on the walls and getting them put up six inches, six inches. we're going to make a mark and put a little crow's foot so we're going to do that we got to do it for this wall and for this wall so we're going to have to uh, hi my name is mike jarbo i'm a teacher here at perry central i'm going into my third year here i teach land surveying construction and engineering here at perry central so this is uh, construction one and two. Uh, here at Perry Central, the kids have to take three years of construction. I teach the intro class, which is basic safety uh, and kind of woodworking. And then when they come into construction one and two, they get to use a lot more of the tools. And then we obviously get to build the house here uh, for Habitat for Humanity. We can, yeah, we can lay out center window now. So Josh is the uh, main teacher here. He worked uh, construction for several years before he became a teacher. Um, I have a little bit of a construction background. I was a, a land surveyor for several years before I became a teacher. Um, so he kind of runs the class and I'm just kind of there to uh, help out. And then when we break apart into groups, um, you know, we can basically get more, more work done that way. This is your longest part of your square. So you want to do it like this. This is happening primarily because of our partnerships with the Perry County Habitat for Humanity. They are helping us fund all the materials that we need to build it. Also, ATTC Manufacturing is a local manufacturing company. They do a lot for Perry Central in our manufacturing pathway, but in this situation, they want to help fund a family um, in need. And so they are also supporting Perry County Habitat for Humanity and Perry Central in this project as well. I'm Josh Harris, I'm the Executive Director for Perry County, Indiana Habitat for Humanity. So Perry Central has taken the initiative to create more educational opportunities for their students. Educational opportunities that will closely resemble the, the workforce that they're entering into. So what they have created here is pretty much a small plant factory where they are be able to build us uh, a home indoors just like uh, a larger manufacturer, you know, Clayton Homes, one of those companies would be able to do, but in a much smaller and compact uh, facility. No, you, on a short line like this, just, yeah, just pull straight up, pop it. Okay. For now, let's just pop the one side, we're gonna double check it. We are really excited about the school year as we see this house unfold. This is a custom home uh, we are building for one of our partner families. And it's really exciting to know that here at the beginning of the school year, we're standing on the floor system. And by the time the kids go to summer break at the end of next semester, uh, our partner family will be living in this home. Come here, guys. Let's go. Okay, so we went ahead, we got the perimeter done. Yeah, we've received a ton of support. We've had families donate money to the program to help to buy the, the lumber for the temporary foundation wall that stays in the house. We've got help from Indiana Manufactured Homes Association um, to help transport the home and helping us out there. Um, and actually a cool piece of this project is this is a Habitat home, but it's going to one of the school employees here at Perry Central. So it's, that's neat that our first house is gonna be going to a school employee. But now we need to actually lay out our offset, right? Because, you know, we're, like I said, we're gonna leave the floor as the rectangle, but the house has to be framed for that offset. Can you mark it at five foot? I wanted a hands-on class, so, because I don't like sitting and doing book work. And there's a little bit of book work in this class, but it's not bad, and it's hands-on, so it's fun to do. I'm very excited because this is a new opportunity for Perry Central and it's just going to be a fun activity to do all year. I decided to take this class because, you know, just something to do after college. It's a good trait to have to be able to do hands-on stuff and construction just in case something happens at your house and you don't have to call someone up and uh, pay them to do it. So I didn't really know what to do as far as like my career path. 
Uh, I started out taking diesel mechanics, but the class was a little full. So they ended up asking me if I would be willing to switch to construction, and I did. And I'm kind of glad I did because I've learned a lot. A couple of things I've learned in this class are I've learned how to frame walls and where to put the studs and stuff like that and put in doorways. And then right now we're ordering the lumber. Then it'll probably take a little bit for that to come in. Then we'll start framing up the walls. So remember, guys, gals, the staircase is on uh, the west side of the house towards the football field, and the back porch is on the south end of the house towards Mrs. Gilliam's room. So orient your blueprint to that. Four inch, 17 inch way, correct? Yep. 17. Our goal for the house um, is mainly it's for the kids to gain skills and experiences. I've said to my students all the time, it's just as important for you to learn at it now if you enjoy this kind of work or if you don't. It'll save you a lot of time and money if you come and take my class and you figure out, man, I really do not enjoy construction work. And the earlier you figure that out, I mean, the better for you to be able to pick a different pathway and move on. Or you might fall in love with work and realize this is what you want to do for, for your career. Um, and then we have students too that know that once they leave that they don't want to do construction work, but they have picked up a ton of skills to help save them money uh, when they get to home of their own or to be able to help out family members. So that's equally as important to me as um, for the students to find out whether they enjoy or they don't enjoy it. Uh, the goal is obviously for, to, to get the students the skills, but also to be able to build something they're proud of. Um, every project that I've ever worked on it, over my career, I can drive past there and, and look at it and you know, know that I, I did good work there and I'm, I'm proud of it still this day. And I want the kids to feel that same pride and ownership. When they drive past this house, um, they'll be able to tell their kids and grandkids that they built that house when they were in high school. And it'll last years to come.